He knows he needs to nail down exactly what he is offering the British people as an alternative government. So today, Keir Starmer tried to set out part of that. With the promise to shift power out of Westminster to communities, what he cheekily called a take-back control bill, and an undertaking that any government he leads will be careful with the country's money. None of this should be taken as code for Labour getting its big government checkbook out. Of course investment is required. I can see the damage the Tories have done to our public services as plainly as anyone else. But we won't be able to spend our way out of their mess. It's not as simple as that. But what about more money for nurses? When I spoke to the Labour leader, I asked him if he would offer more than the government is currently doing. The first thing I'd say is it's appalling that we've got to this position. The nurses have gone on a national strike for the first time in their history. They don't want them to do that. I don't want them to do that. What they said to the government before Christmas is, if you come into the room and talk to us, then we won't go on strike. And I think many people watching this will be astonished that the government didn't take that opportunity and now we're in the position we're in. OK, so, so you're yes, in the room. Would, would you offer more money well, than the government is offering? It's going to have to be compromised. It's not just about pay. It's also about the workforce. What we've but said would about... you offer more money? in terms of pay once you're in that Well, we're room. not in the room. We're in opposition. No, and obviously, you obviously will need I'm, to not, make, I'm know, not going to say opinion. at this point, you know, what exactly we would negotiate because we're not in that position. What I would say is if you had a Labour government and the nurses' union said to us, come into the room and talk, we would go into the room and talk. A lot of people will find it extraordinary that the Labour leader is not prepared to say, yes, I would offer more money in this pay deal to the nurses, which are, well, you don't seem prepared to say. I've said that both sides need to compromise. This idea they're now bringing forward that we go from clapping nurses to sacking nurses, I think is, you know, most people would say, what on earth are you doing? So on that legislation that the government's proposing, would you repeal it if you're in power? Look, if they bring in legislation that forces us to sack nurses, of course we'll repeal it. Do you still worry that people actually don't really know what a Keir Starmer Labour government would be, that you really haven't made that offer in a precise way that people understand it? Well, I think we made a very, very clear case today, which is to say that we can't just expect the British public to suck this up um, with all hope of you know, a better future extinguished. The best decisions are made by those with skin in the game, and that means pushing power away from Westminster and Whitehall. I think that's a compelling case. It will change our country. It will give us that renewal, that decade of renewal that we desperately, desperately need. A decade of renewal sounds like more than one term in power. Is that overconfidence? First, Keir Starmer has to win the next election, which is expected next year. OK, let's speak to Andy now, who uh, joins us from Westminster. Uh, so, Andy, to go back to this big announcement from the government, legislation to limit strikes, will it actually happen, though? Well, the government very keen to say they're going to get on with it. They want to have it in this session of Parliament. Uh, it will face opposition in Parliament. You heard Keir Starmer there saying certainly he'd oppose it, repeal it if it goes through. It'll certainly be opposed in the House of Lords, but there is a convention that if something appears in the manifesto, and this did appear in the Conservative manifesto of 2019, then the Lords can't block it forever. So uh, it looks like they're going to push ahead with that. Hopefully, this round of industrial disputes will be over by the time any such legislation comes in, so it might not affect that, but it is still causing a lot of annoyance and raising the temperatures in this. Meanwhile, the government's saying they want to talk to union leaders about the next round of pay reviews. So there's a little bit of a, a carrot and stick operation going on at the moment when it comes to these uh, industrial strikes that the government has to handle. OK, uh, could a resolution potentially be in sight? Uh, for now, Andy from Westminster, thank you.